Hi, this is P5, Chapter 5, Percentage, Question 5. Rachel bought some fruits. She spent $10 more than two-thirds of the money on some oranges. She then spent $4 more than 20% of the remaining money on some mangosteen. Given that she had $16 left, how much did Rachel have at first? How many kilograms of mangosteens did she buy if, she, if they cost $2 per kilo? Alright, so we're going to have the second reading and going to highlight the important keywords that they give you the questions. Okay, Rachel had some fruits. She spent $10 more than two-thirds of the money, which is the total, on oranges. Then she spent $4 more than 20% of the remaining money. Okay, they talk about the remaining money on mangosteen. Given that she had $16 left, she asked how much Rachel have at first. That's your A. Your B, how many kilograms of mangosteen did she buy if they cost $2 per kilo? All right. So, in this question, yes, they talk about oranges, they talk about mangosteen. But the main, importantly, is actually they talk about the money, how the money is being split. So, therefore, it's just one model, alright? I'm going to illustrate this in model. So I'm going to draw this slightly longer so we can have the details, okay. So we have one portion, just cut any any part, alright. So we have, this is for the orange where it is two-third, okay, and the ten dollars more that is mentioned here, alright. So they have ten dollars more than two-third of the money which refers to the whole total. Okay, and then the next one she spent is the mangosteen, correct? The mangosteen, they mentioned that it is $4 more than the 20% of the remaining. Okay, so we need to find the remaining first. This part. How to find the remainder? The remainder will be our one hole, which is here to here. Minus two third, which will give us one third. So the remainder here is one third. Now we go for the mangosteen. They mentioned that the mangosteen is twenty percent. Twenty percent is twenty over hundred. We minus multiply twenty percent of means times the remaining money, which is one third. Okay. So, when we do the cancellation, so we will get 1 over 15. 1 over 15 is this one, where we need also to plus the $4 for the mangosteen. Okay, then they mention about the left. The left is 16. Alright, so this is the, um, after gathering it, you notice that each one of these, Okay, each one of the portion here, like the oranges, we have the $10 extra here. The mangosteens, we have the $4 extra here. So, I will, what I will do is, uh, what we will need to do is to transfer these dollars, these two dollars, 14 and 4, 4, 10 and 4, sorry. 10 and 4 to the, uh, the portion that is left here, together with the left, to get the fraction for all the money so that we can get the equivalent all right i will show to you now how do we do this so it will be the ten dollars and the four dollars where we're gonna add it here this is four this is the ten and the left portion is this sixteen Maybe it's too thick. Maybe I should uh, use a thinner one. Sorry. Okay. 
so we have a ten dollar here a four dollar here Sixteen dollar here. This sixteen is the left. Is the left. This four is this one. Okay. This part here. Whereas this ten, I put it here. All right. So in all, we can see this. We need to find the fraction for this part. Right, so this fraction for this part will be let's call this the left, let's call all just the left. Okay, this left part will be our one hole, which is from here to here. One hole we minus of two third the orange fraction minus of the one fifth, one over fifteen, which is the mangosteen fraction. Okay. When we do this, it's uh, we make it convert all this, the denominator the same, and that will give us ten minus one over fifteen. That will give us four over fifteen. So this left here is four over fifteen. All right. So from here, we know that this part here is our 4 unit. So what is our equivalent to the 4 unit? The 4 unit will be equivalent to the $10, the $4 and the $16 because 4 unit is here to here. Okay, so it's addition of 10 plus 4 plus 16. This will sum up as to $30. Alright. So from here, they ask for Rachel at first. At first is from the whole thing here to here. So therefore, our A is total is 15 unit, right? So 15 unit. So we do the cross multiply, which is 30 divide 4 multiply by 15. This, when we do the working out, we will get 112.50. Alright, so that's your A. Now, knowing this, um, so this here to here, now we know is 11, sorry, 112 is a total, 112.50. Okay, now what do they ask more now? They ask now is the how many kilo is mango steam if per kilo is two dollars. Before we can find how many kilo, we must know how much is uh how much she spent on the mango steam, which is here to here in terms of money. Okay, so how do we do this? We need to find how much she spent. For the money first, which is this part. How do we do? So, you know, we need to get, because mangosteen, if you notice here, is 1 unit. Okay, 1 over 15. So, we need to find mangosteen, in terms of money, where we need to find 1 unit. 1 unit will be the total, 1, 1, 2, 50 cent. We divide by 15, right? Because they mentioned that they have a 4 here. So, after getting this answer, we need to add $4. This will actually give us to $11.50, alright? So, this is the amount spent for the uh, mango steam, $11.50, Okay? Then from there, they talk about, then only we can find the kilo that they spent. Which is, we take the $11.50, we find mangosteen in kilo. Alright, maybe I'll do it in black. Like. 
So we need to find mangosteen in kilo, whereby we take one eleven dollar fifty cent. We divide two dollars. Okay, and that will give us sorry. Five point seven five kilo. All right. So this is the answer. I hope uh the workout solution is easy, simple enough for you to understand and explain to your child. I'll see you in the next video.